is News 3 Now at 5. Thanks for being with us. It was a sunny Monday, but we have an alert day in the forecast for tomorrow. Snow is expected to come into the area early tomorrow morning, which could impact your morning commute. Let's check your first worn forecast right away with meteorologist Dana Fulton. Dana? That snow is going to hold off until at least after midnight, but it will be coming morning, so anyone who does have to head out for their morning commute, definitely give yourself some extra time. Overall, one to four inches expected with the heaviest amounts, mainly west of Madison and Dane County. Our Doppler track is quiet right now. We had a really nice sunset, but as we look to the south, you can see that moisture in Iowa, parts of Missouri and Illinois. That'll be lifting up in our direction. We do have a winter weather advisory in effect starting at about midnight through Tuesday morning for most of our area. Really, this is a, a timing issue with the snow coming down during the morning commute. It's going to make the roads messy. It's going to make things a little slippery outside. And the first event of the season always tends to be a little messier. Once the snow transitions over to rain in the afternoon, it will stay rain showers through the evening and into Wednesday. But we will take a closer look at some more timing and those snow accumulation totals in just a few minutes. All right, Dana, we'll check back in just a bit. Thank you. There is a flurry of activity inside one of Madison's most recognizable buildings tonight that's bound to ramp up even more. Tabulators are working their way through nearly 350,000 ballots for the second time. Gabriella Becerra at Monona Terrace. Gabby, how is the recount process going right now? Well, Susan Eric, the Dane County clerk says the recount becomes more efficient with each day that passes and you can see that behind me. This is where they are checking the envelopes and the ballots to make sure they are consistent and there's still a lot more that needs to be counted. You can find the foundation of democracy on the ground floor of the Monona Terrace this week. You'll see there's an observer one to one for the most part. That's where you'll also find Dane County Clerk Scott McDonald running around making sure everything runs smoothly. Where we started to now it is uh, just uh, much, much better. Now on day four, the county is shifting to recount some of the larger communities in Dane County. Monona, Verona, well, Stoughton. Uh, we'll be getting to some prairie soon and then hopefully, you know, the next day or so we'll, we'll start in on Madison. There are nearly 350,000 ballots to count, many from those specific communities. It's just the volume is picking up. But McDonald says the tabulators are moving faster and the observers know what to look for. The objections are clearly into predictable categories around the witness signature, witness address, voter signature, initials of the clerk, so we're able to kind of get through those objections quicker. We asked several observers from both sides what they're seeing, but they didn't want to speak. McDonald says there's likely many days left before this recount is complete. I don't see any way we won't be working past Thanksgiving. Um, however, I think we, we're still planning on taking Thanksgiving Day off. But he says all parties involved agree on this one thing. We want to complete this as soon as possible while preserving the transparency of being able to see every ballot and every envelope. They'll be counting here until at least eight tonight, and that's when McDonald says he'll have a better idea if they're catching up to speed or not. I reached out to both campaigns today, and neither one of them made anyone available to speak to us. Gabriella Becerra reporting live. Gabby, thank you. Meanwhile, in Michigan, elections officials certified Democrat Joe Biden's 154,000 vote victory in that state. The Board of State Canvassers, which has two Republicans and two Democrats, confirmed the results on a 3-0 vote with one Republican abstention. Allies of Trump and losing GOP Senate candidate John James had urged the panel to delay voting for two weeks to audit votes in heavily Democratic Wayne County, which is home to Detroit. The president's legal team is appealing a federal judge's dismissal of a lawsuit to block certification of votes in Pennsylvania. Like Biden is moving to fill out his national security and foreign policy team. His choices signal that Biden intends to abandon and repudiate the Trump administration's America First doctrine. The six picks announced today represent a shift away from President Trump's policies and a mark to a more traditional approach to America's relations with the rest of the world. Biden will nominate his longtime advisor, Anthony Blinken, as be Secretary of State, lawyer Alejandro Mayorkas to be Homeland Security Secretary. Former Secretary of State John Kerry will be Biden's climate change envoy, and Linda Thomas. 
Thomas Greenfield will be ambassador to the United Nations. She earned her master's degree at UW-Madison. Biden has chosen former Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen to serve as his Treasury Secretary. A conservative law firm is asking the state Supreme Court to strike down Dane County's ban on indoor gatherings and sports. The Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty asked the justices today to take its lawsuit challenging the ban directly and issue an immediate injunction. The firm argues the issue is of statewide importance because many counties have been expanding their ordinances as the coronavirus pandemic continues. The court struck down Governor Tony Evers stay at home order in May and is currently considering erasing his mask mandate. Public Health Madison and Dane County responded to the lawsuit by saying quote our job is to protect the health and safety of Madison and Dane County residents and we will continue that mission on the foundation of science and data. We are confident that order number 10 is legal under the statute and we will not comment further on pending litigation. State and county health officials recorded 3,121 new cases of the virus, bringing the lifetime total now in Wisconsin to 358,125. DHS officials say more than 74,000 cases are still active. Ten more people have died. That puts the statewide death toll at 3,071. DHS officials say 107 people were also hospitalized in the past day. 15% of beds remain available for new patients. Inmates at the Dane County Jail are worried about their health. A COVID outbreak at the jail got much worse over the weekend. And now 69 inmates are positive for the virus with many more test results still pending, almost double from what it was just three days ago. News 3 Now's Naomi Coles joins us with more. Naomi? Eric, I spoke with several inmates on Friday evening. They all say the jail isn't keeping them safe. They aren't happy with testing. They're saying they're being exposed to people who haven't gotten tests and they want better access to cleaning supplies and protective equipment. The sheriff says policy sends every new inmate through the same initial quarantine unit where they get tested. Everyone else in the unit has to quarantine when people there test positive. Ultimately, the inmates say they're worried about their health. They are seen uh, twice a day by medical staff, as well as provided uh, water or Gatorade to keep them hydrated. And as we reported last week, the outbreak started with new inmates. The sheriff says that limited facility space means there aren't a lot of options for a lot of individual isolations. He adds that no one in the current outbreak has been hospitalized or has severe symptoms yet. The jail had one bigger spike earlier in the spring, but afterwards stayed pretty minimal until this current jump in cases. Naomi, thank you. Another coronavirus vaccine is showing promising results. AstraZeneca said today its experimental vaccine is 70% effective on average. It showed 90% efficacy in one dosing regimen. That's when the vaccine was given as a half dose, followed by a full dose at least a month later. There was a 62% efficacy in a second regimen when two full doses were given at least a month apart. Part. AstraZeneca said its vaccine is, quote, highly effective in preventing COVID-19. AstraZeneca is running its experimental vaccine at UW Health. Dr. William Hartman says this is some good news when it comes to finding a COVID-19 vaccine. I would anticipate in the in the coming days there'll be some sort of an amendment to the protocol here so that we can further study this uh, phenomenon that the, the lower uh, dose followed by the full dose um, it might actually be even more effective. The drug maker said there were no hospitalizations or severe cases of the disease reported in participants receiving the vaccine. So how will we actually get those vaccines and who gets them first? It's a system that still needs a lot of work. Our Brady Mallory is here with a look at how the steps could play out. Brady? Well, doctors are optimistic about several vaccines now, and many people see them as a ticket back to normalcy. However, according to a public health expert, getting vaccinated won't happen overnight. AJ Sethi with UW Health says we could be waiting months and perhaps even into the summer. He says now the FDA will have to make sure any vaccine is safe and effective, and then the agency will have to work with states and local communities to work out a system for who will get the vaccine first. First, we have to look at the data that the FDA is examining, uh, find out how safe, how effective, 
and sort of what their timeline is for releasing the vaccine. Until we get the green light from the federal government, it's really hard to know what's going to happen here in Wisconsin. While we wait for a vaccine, Sethi says now is not the time to get complacent. He says people still need to wear masks, social distance, and follow safety guidelines. And he's also echoing what a lot of health experts have been saying and doesn't recommend getting together for Thanksgiving this year with people outside of your home. All right, Brady, thank you. Lambeau Field, the Packers organization, says the venue remains closed to fans, but this coming Sunday they will host a small group of Packers employees and their families in the stadium to help evaluate COVID-19 protocols that have been implemented in the stadium. The team invited about 500 guests that will go through those protocols, including concession stand and restroom use. The new seating policy at Lambeau will require fans to remain within their socially distant household pod of seats. The organization says they hope that hosting fans will be possible at some point this season, but it won't be at the Bears or Eagles games in the next two weeks. The NBA season is less than a month away already, but today the Bucks announced they won't have any fans at Pfizer Forum, at least not early. The organization says the health and safety of fans, players, coaches, and staff are the top priority. They say they will work with health officials and the NBA to discuss the potential return of fans sometime after the season gets going. The Dane County Farmers Market will be hosting its local food pickups at the Alliant Energy Center starting next week, starting December 2nd and continuing Wednesdays through December 16th. The Farmers Market will move its pickups from Willow Island to the inside of the pavilion. Customers will need to enter from Rusk Avenue, the entrance there, into the Alliant Ener Energy Center. The pickups will be from 3.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Customers can pre-order products products through what's good customers do not have to leave their vehicles. You'll still see a lovely mix of vegetables, um, things either grown in hoop houses or storage vegetables, as well as meats, cheeses, bakery items, specialty items. Um, so folks can definitely do their weekly grocery shopping as well as get ready for the Christmas holiday. There will be around 25 vendors at the market and officials expect about 400 to 500 customers a week. More to come on News Now at 5 up next Thanksgiving will look a lot different for all of us this year, but local organizations are making sure everyone still has a meal this Thursday. We'll show you how ahead at 5. Coming up tonight at 6 after that loss to Northwestern Saturday, Badgers looking to bounce back against the Gophers. It's the battle for Paul Bunyan's axe. We'll take a look ahead next hour. And on Wall Street, the Dow soaring 328 points. The NASDAQ adds almost 26. The S&P gains 20, and we'll be right back. Keep your home and family warm and cozy this winter with a new degree of comfort from your local Rheem contractor. Feel the Wooler's difference. Call Wooler's Heating and Air Conditioning today. Serving Dane County for over 45 years. Real customers are experiencing a real difference with Spectrum Internet and TV. The speed is insane. It's always right there. Just boom. It was easy to connect all of my devices, and I was able to find a plan that was affordable for me. I'm saving money, and I'm even getting more speed. Get the speed you need to do all the things you love on all your devices with Spectrum Internet, delivering the fastest starting speeds for the price. 200 megabits. Switch now for $44.99 a month. Call 833-918-4499. With Spectrum TV, the picture quality is incredible. I feel like I'm in the movie. The amount of stuff available on Spectrum On Demand is just never ending. Add Spectrum TV and enjoy more free HD and more free on demand. Plus, use the Spectrum TV app to watch live TV on the go. All from $44.99 a month. Call 833-918-4499. Spectrum gives me the best deal no matter what. Every day I'm saving money. Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. Ask about our easy self-install options to install your new services yourself. Call 833-918-4499. It's Menard's last 11% rebate sale of 2020, and we've got what you need to keep your projects going. Works Power Tools are known for their innovative features and affordable prices. Get 11% off Works Power Tools. Once you've stocked up on tools, keep everything organized with Masterforce tool chests and cabinets. They offer more storage and are customizable. Masterforce storage is 11% off. It's Menard's last 11% rebate sale of 2020. Save big money at Menard's. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know it needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know 
We're here. Is your home giving you the cold shoulder? Fight back with a new energy-saving furnace from your local Rheem contractor. Feel the Wooler's difference. Call Wooler's Heating and Air Conditioning today. Serving Dane County for over 45 years. Hi, everyone. Tuesday morning is an alert day. We'll have team coverage of the weather headed our way and live looks at how the snow is affecting the commute. We'll see you from 430 to 7 Tuesday morning. As a COVID-19 outbreak spread through New Lisbon Correction, all of a sudden it started to spiral. What current and former inmates want you to know about safety policies inside? They're all in fear. News 3 Now investigates Tuesday at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Welcome back. We all know Thanksgiving won't be celebrated quite the same this year. No, that's for sure. But organizations all around the community are making sure that everyone still has something to eat. Our Jamie Perez shows us how some places that usually host Thanksgiving community meals are adapting to make this holiday as close to normal as possible. Well, a lot of churches around the Madison area usually offer a hot Thanksgiving meal to anyone in the community who might need it. They usually get people together in a large room to sit down, but obviously with COVID restrictions, they can't do that this year. So a lot of them are following what the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church is doing by offering free Thanksgiving meals to go for anyone who needs it. Now, the food is donated from church members and donations from pantries. A lot of these places expect several hundred to several thousand families on Thanksgiving Day, just depending on where you go. Now here I say that even though things look a little bit different this year, there are still plenty of things to be thankful for. We do think that just having the opportunity to have a meal like this and hopefully be healthy is something to be thankful for. Now they say that if they have any leftovers, they will donate the food to local area homeless shelters. Now it's not just churches and big organizations that are doing what they can to help feed the community. Coming up tonight at six, I'm going to show you how certain individuals here in Madison are also doing what they can to make sure that everyone has a hot meal this Thanksgiving. We won't know until tomorrow how opening weekend went, but the DNR wouldn't be surprised if the nice weather produces good results. Talking about the gun deer hunt, Wildlife Management Representative Eric Loebner says hunter registration was up 3%, but there are fewer people coming in from out of state. He thinks that is likely due to the pandemic. You know, unfortunately, that packet game didn't turn out so well, so it's really <laughs> been variable, you know, to see what's going to happen, um, what the season um, numbers or opening weekend numbers will look like. Well, there were some safety problems this weekend. One hunter died. Three others were hurt in accidents. There were no deaths reported all of last season. The DNR will release early numbers tomorrow. Well, let's get it. Get to check on the weather now. Dana Fulton is watching the forecast, and here comes the snow, Dana. Here comes the snow, and it's always a little messy the first time around for the season, and we're expecting roads tomorrow to be a little slushy at times. With that light snow coming down early in the morning, it is going to make the roads just a little slick. Now, for the next few hours, things stay pretty quiet. We aren't expecting anything to build in through uh, about until midnight. Our next, rain ch our next snow chance really starting to develop once we get into early tomorrow morning. These systems off to the west build in, picking up a little more moisture with them. And as they do, it's not just southern Wisconsin that's going to be dealing with this precipitation. It's stretching through much of the plains in the Midwest. Rain chances extending to our south and then light snow expected uh, for areas north. Now we are going to, as you can see, have that rain slide in for us as our temperatures warm up later in the afternoon. But we are going to start off the morning with accumulating snowfall. That's going to reduce visibility at times and it's just going to make the roads a little messy outside. The rest of the evening should stay fairly quiet. Temperatures close to the low 30s right now, mid to low 30s for much of the area. We'll stay near about 29 for overnight lows around midnight. We don't warm up much from there through the overnight hours as our skies become mostly cloudy. Light snow starts up around 3, 4 o'clock in the southwest corner of the state first. So in Grant County and Lafayette County, Iowa County, we're going to see the highest totals because they'll start to see the light snowfall first, and that continues throughout the morning commute as the snow continues to lift northeast. Light snow through the early morning starts to transition over to that light rainfall by about noon, and we continue to see rainfall throughout the afternoon. Not concerned about this turning back to snow because temperatures will be close to 40 degrees in 
the afternoon and into the evening. Mostly cloudy skies for Wednesday night, and we have the chance for showers yet again. Scattered showers likely for Wednesday morning into the early afternoon. That'll clear out later in the evening, and we'll be back to some sunshine for Thanksgiving Day. Snowfall totals generally one to four inches with the highest accumulations expected for areas west of Dane County. This is all going to come down pretty quickly in the morning. So if you are trying to leave early in the day, know you're probably going to have to quickly clear out your driveway with the rain coming through later on. It's not going to stick around for long, but early in the morning you might have a, a little bit of cleaning to do. Use the snow brush real quick before you get on the roads and you're going to need a little extra time on the roads as things tend to go a little slower when we have snow coming down during the morning commute. Winter weather advisory is in effect for most of our area because of the timing. That's the big concern with this. Our alert day, these advisories because it's coming down when people are starting to get on the roads. Tomorrow we're expecting high temperatures in the low 40s or close to 40 degrees. Breezy and chilly outside with snow in the morning and then rain showers developing in the afternoon. For Wednesday we have rain. Thursday for Thanksgiving we're variably cloudy and for Friday partly sunny skies with seasonable temperatures expected through the rest of the week. We'll be seasonable for Saturday and Sunday as well with temperatures in the 40s. We continue to see a dry trend for the following week. This dry trend is going to continue on with high temperatures uh, staying pretty close to average. Those overnight lows might be a little cooler outside though. Overall traffic along the Beltline does look okay right now. We are keeping a close eye on an accident near Sun Prairie 19 or Main Street right now is closed all lanes all directions for right tail drive to Wood Violet Lane looking a little further south into Rock County. We don't have any delays right now for downtown Janesville and the interstate does look pretty smooth currently from Janesville to the Beltline. Our drive times have remained pretty steady. We're looking at about 25 minutes, 16 minutes to get from Sauk City to Middleton and Sun Prairie to downtown about nine minutes this evening. That's a quick look at traffic. Dana, thank you. Ahead on News Street Now at 5, Madison has been named one of the best places to retire. We'll tell you where it lands on the list ahead at 5. News Street Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. The season for dress boots is here, and Rogan's has your next pair. Savings with 20% off the best name brands. Get the latest trends today and save at Rogan's. Selection, service, name brands, and the second pair is half price. Visit online at roganshoes.com. Your eyes are everything. They're how you see the world and connect with others. At Shopco Optical, your eyes are everything to us too, which is why we offer everything to help you see better and look better. A huge selection of designer frames, convenient locations, and experienced optometrists. We're Shopco Optical. You'll see. Celebrate Eye Care Month this November and get 40% off a complete pair of glasses. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we always offer quality products at great low prices. But on Black Friday, you know the savings will be amazing with deals up to 50% off or more in every department. Like this Crock-Pot slow cooker, half off, just $9.99. Half off select Hasbro games, welding helmets, and 50-foot extension cords. Plus, over 65% off these dog training collars, just $24.99. Don't miss massive savings at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Doors open at 6 a.m. this Friday. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Imagine life in that, that, or that. Having zero stress. Wasting zero energy worrying. Zero days wanting less seats, more seats, and zero regrets. Imagine that. Zero reasons not to get into a Volkswagen, especially now that you can start shopping from home. Click, call, or come by today. Visit our Volkswagen sign-in drive event and lease the 2020 Jetta S today with zero down, zero deposit, zero first month's payment, and zero due at signing. Get more home for the holidays now with the Brothers Main Black Friday is Today sale. Shop online or safely in store to get up to 38% off and up to $2,000 back on qualifying GE Cafe and GE Profile Appliances. Check out our Hot Point Top Load Washer and Dryer. Buy the pair and pay only $4.49 each. This is your Black Friday store for more, including free delivery. The Black Friday is Today sale. Hurry in today for more selection, more savings, and more home for the holidays from the Brothers Main. Your local store for more since 1938. We love our new home. There's so much space. We have a guest room now. But we have ants. You're slouching again, Ted. Expired. 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 Thanks, Aunt Bonnie. It's a lot of house. 
I hope you can keep it clean. At least GEICO makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. Which helps us save a lot of money. Oh, Teddy, did you get my friend request? Oh, uh, I'll have to check. Aunt Joni's here. For bundling made easy, go to GEICO.com. Keep your family warm this season with new winter boots. Rogan's has 20% off the best name brands for mom, dad, and the kids. Save on winter boots for the whole family at Rogan's. Selection, service, name brands, and the second pair is half price. Visit online at roganshoes.com. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Welcome back, everyone. Money.com has selected Madison as the number one best place to retire. Money Magazine looked at over 47,000 data points to determine the list. They looked at housing, climate, diversity, and safety. According to Money, Madison was selected number one because of its recreational activities and natural beauty. The city's median home price is $292,000, which was one of the lowest for all of the winners. Money also cited free events, restaurants, and the Dane County Farmers Market as perks of living here. It also has 38 retirement communities, which was the most of all of the winners. The Oxford English Dictionary had a hard time picking its traditional word of the year for 2020, but it tweeted that with everything that's happened this year, instead of just one word, it selected the most important words for certain months. For example, it was bushfire back in January when Australia suffered its worst fire season on record. Acquittal came in February when President Trump's impeachment trial ended. Starting in March, terms related to the coronavirus pandemic dominated like COVID-19, lockdown, social distancing, and reopening. In June, use of the phrase Black Lives Matter exploded. For August, mail-in and Belarusian were both flagged, referring to the U.S. election and also the controversial re-election of the Belarusian president. In September, it's Moonshot, the name the U.K. gave to its coronavirus testing program. And in October, Net Zero and Super Super spreader are highlighted after a cluster of COVID-19 cases at the White House. Stay with us. We'll have a final check here. First warn forecast in just a moment. Hey, no cell phones at the table, but it's grandma. Hi, mom. It's Slumberland's biggest Thanksgiving sale in three years. You'll get an additional 25% off our already low prices at Slumberland. It's called the greater good. At Quartz, it's what fuels our passion to better serve our members and our community. It's why we ensure easy access to the doctors, hospitals, and clinics of UW Health. It's what pushes us to invest in the name of community health and wellness programs and to find new ways to help those who need the help the most. But hey, you know all about the greater good. Quartz, health plans built with you in mind. In 1912, Leon L. Bean sold his first batch of 100 boats, 90 of them leaked. He refunded every pair and then perfected them. Because if it wasn't comfortable, he didn't want people to have it. This holiday season, we want to help you give the warmest, coziest, longest lasting gifts on earth and make you feel more comfortable than you have in a long, long time. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we always offer genuine values on the things you need. But this year, our Black Friday bargains are coming early with incredible pre-Black Friday deals available now throughout the store. Like $25 off men's and women's Carhartt Rain Defender sweatshirts. Save $15 on assorted bags of Canada dog food. And 20-foot jumper cables are half off. Plus, buy online and pick up your items in our convenient drive-thru. You don't even need to get out of your car. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. At the New Balance store, we go above expectations and beyond shoes. We're here to help runners achieve their goals and push their limits in every sport or adventure they pursue. That kind of performance demands real innovations in technology, shape, and fit, and we're experts in all of it. So no matter why you run, your best race starts here. Stop by and experience the difference of your local New Balance store today. Comfort with style. Trust your feet to the experts at New Balance Madison. New Balance Madison, Hildale. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know it needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. 
The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here. With all this family fun time, you need a good night's sleep. Come to Slumberland's huge Thanksgiving mattress sale and get an extra 25% off our already low prices. Get the Sealy Posturepedic Queen mattress for just $3.99, only at Slumberland. Coming up on the CBS Evening News. Americans on the move. With just days to go until Thanksgiving, millions are getting tested before they travel for the holiday. But does a negative test result mean you're in the clear? Plus, racing to a cure. A third vaccine is showing promising results. Why the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine could be the easiest to distribute. And a texting mix-up brought him into their family. Why their Thanksgiving tradition became even more heartfelt in the year of COVID. That's tonight on the CBS Evening News. And now to Dana for a final check of the forecast. Tomorrow is an alert day because of the snow chances coming through in the morning. A winter weather advisory is in effect for our area for Tuesday morning. Anywhere from one to four inches expected. The roads are going to be slippery early in the day. Then that snow will transition over to light rain. Rain will continue into Wednesday. Thanks Thanksgiving day on Thursday, thankfully, will be nice and dry. And we'll stay fairly cool but dry through the weekend and as we look ahead to the following week with high temperatures dropping down to the 30s and those overnight lows in the 20s. All right, Dana, thank you very much. We're back in 30 minutes for news right now at 6. The CBS Evening News is next.